Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. The latest Rapid Plan update to version 3.3 delivers a bunch of new features and we'll be looking through some of them now. Um, the main feature of this release is the Intersections Editor tool, which makes drawing complex intersections easier and faster than ever before. We'll be discussing the editor in detail later on, but let's start with another new feature, one that a lot of our users have requested, um, the Dimensions Input Panel. In Rapid Plan, to mark distances on a plan, you normally use one of the distance markers. Um, based on the scale of your plan and the selected units, they automatically display the distance between the points. Now, if you wanted to mark a specific distance value, say 30 meters, um, this used to involve a little bit of eyeballing. You could zoom in to make it a bit easier, but still, it was hard to achieve full precision. And this is exactly the problem solved by a new distance input feature. While drawing an object, just start typing digits on your keyboard to activate the input panel. I'll type in 30 meters, then hit the enter key, and note how my, how my marker segment locks at, th at exactly 30 meters. All I need to do now is position the segment at the angle I want, and either click or hit the enter key again. Very simple um, and very useful, for example, when you're trying to lay out signs at specific distances along the road. So say I'll do 50 meters and then 30. And I can position my signs based on that. The Dimensions Input tool allows you to specify uh, not only distances, but also angles, um, x, y offsets, or specific points on the plan, either in pixels or geographical coordinates if your plan has the location set. Each of the input modes has a hotkey assigned, for example, A for angle, uh, which you can use to quickly toggle between the modes while you're typing in dimensions. As for units, um, they can be adjusted here in the Properties panel. Um, the feature is available while drawing all the different Rapid Plan objects and devices. Uh, for example, I can use the Offset Input mode uh, to draw a rectangular region with precise dimensions. Uh, so I click to place the first point, then O for Offset, type in 25 times 4 meters, press Enter key, um, to see the offset applied to my object, then enter key again to confirm. And here's my 25 meter long um, work zone area marked. Okay, so the next Rapid Plan 3.3 feature we'll be looking at is the sign stand. Uh, basically, an icon next to the sign symbol uh, which shows the actual location and orientation of the sign. They used to be available from the Furniture tab in the Signs palette, uh, but now they're built into the actual sign object. So when you select the sign, uh, go to its properties and set its Show Stand option to True, and note how this uh, decorates the sign with a blue point. You can drag the point to um, position the stand, and then the other point can be used to adjust its orientation. Now, if you want all signs to use a stand by default, you can save this as the default style. Um, then drawing signs from now on becomes a, a two-step process. So click once to position the stand, and then click again to place the sign icon. And obviously, still, it's, it's all adjustable. Another new feature, Road Width Handles. Um, if you want to quickly adjust the width of a lane or the road shoulder, um, there is no need to search through the properties list anymore. Simply right click on the road and select Show Road Width Handles. And then you can adjust the road widths uh, by dragging the points. You can also enable the handles for um, the selected road with the control H, 
uh, keyboard shortcut. Um, and this feature is available for all types of objects uh, like the roundabout here. Okay, one last thing I'd like to present before moving on to the intersections editor. Rapid Plan 3.3 introduces a new print scaling mode, uh, allowing you to specify exactly what scale you're printing or exporting at. Let's go to print options and look at print scaling. Uh, we have all the previous options, fit diagram to page, uh, fit objects, no scaling, which just uses whatever scale the plan was drawn in. And then we have the new option, fixed print scale. This lets you pick the printout scale regardless of the original plan scale. Uh, so my original plan was at 1 to 500, but I can print it out at 1 to 200 or um, any scale I pick from here. I can also specify a custom scale, uh, so this can be just about any value. But note that depending on the scale I select, some contents of my print region might not fit on the print page or the contents might not cover the whole page. In the latter case, you might want to check the fill page with adjacent content box. So with this option enabled, any blank areas on the plan on the page are filled with contents neighboring your plan print region. One thing I want to point out here is that uh, features we've added in the last couple of Rapid Plan releases have made the whole printing process more flexible. So to give an example, once you set your fixed scale in print options, you can go back to your plan and enable in-place print preview on the print region. Uh, so this presents a preview on, of the printout page while still allowing you to move and resize uh, your print region. So you can have full control over what exactly gets printed. And then obviously there's the print frames. Um, they allow you to uh, extract your plan annotations like uh, the title box uh, to a separate layer that's independent of the underlying plan contents. We have a dedicated tutorial page for the print frames. Um, we'll add a link in the description of this video in case you haven't seen it yet. Okay, so now we're finally going to look at the main new feature in Rapid Plan 3.3, the Intersections Editor tool. Uh, let's start with creating a basic intersection. Our tool is available in the Drawing Tools palette under the Roads category. And when I select it, the first point I place is going to be the center of the intersection. And then with subsequent clicks, I'm adding the intersection roads, at least three of them. I can then right click to finish the drawing and select my intersection object. Uh, this brings up the intersection editor panel, which has four tabs for editing different intersection elements. The roads, um, road extensions, markings and symbols. The roads tab uh, lists all the roads I've added and if I select the road um, its properties become editable in the uh, properties panel. Um, I can also select roads by clicking on them while holding the control and alt keys on my keyboard. To select more than one road hold the shift key as well. Let's move on to road extensions. Previous Rapid Plan versions did have dedicated tools for drawing road corners and turn lanes, but with the intersection editor, this now becomes much easier. To add corners, I click the road corners button, and then the editor shows places where they can be added. Then it only takes a single click for a perfectly aligned corner to be added to the intersection. Creating turn lanes is just as easy. When you select an intersection element, um, it shows a point uh, that can be dragged to easily adjust its dimensions. Uh, the length of a turn lane, 
or the radius of a road corner. And then a complete set of adjustable properties for the selected extension is also available in the properties panel. Okay, now that we have our roads and turn lanes set up, we can start adding other intersection elements, markers and symbols. Um, the idea is the same. You pick the type of object you want to add and then the lane you want it attached to. So I'll add a few stop lines, some lane markers, and note how when an object is selected I can drag it using its uh, offset point. And obviously its properties are also editable in the properties panel. The process is very straightforward and creating a typical intersection takes just a few clicks. So I'll chuck in a couple of crosswalks as well. And um, anything you add to the intersection remains anchored to it. If you change the intersection shape, um, the elements will reposition automatically at the same offset from the actual intersection area. Now, the way the element positions are calculated uh, is based on their offset and uh, the orientation mode. So, for example, this crosswalk is now offset by 4 meters from a line that's perpendicular to the road. Alternatively, uh, we can make the reference line aligned, which means it will run exactly between the points where the road edges merge with the neighboring roads in the intersection. While we have the crosswalk selected, I'll also uh, mention that for some intersection elements, other than the positioning properties, you can also edit the style of the actual object. You can display the style properties by changing the edit mode here. Now, if you still require any more custom editing, each intersection element can be detached from the intersection. It then becomes a regular object on the diagram and you can edit its points and uh, properties as required. You can also use the ungroup command or control U to ungroup the whole intersection which basically breaks it up into um, independent fully editable uh, objects. Finally, uh, let's look at connecting an intersection with other roads. I've reverted the ungroup operation, so we have our intersection object again. Note that the road elements end with control points, so you can snap to them both when drawing new roads or adjusting existing ones. If you hold the control key while snapping, uh, you enable the snap in the line mode which automatically adjusts the shape of your road so that it smoothly merges with the intersection. Um, this way you can easily connect an intersection um, with other road objects. For more information about using the Intersections Editor, a detailed tutorial page is available on our website. Uh, you can find the link in the description of this video. And this wraps up our overview of new features in Rapid Plan 3.3. I hope you like the changes in this release and as always feel free to send any comments or suggestions to the Invariant Technical Support Team. Thank you, bye bye.